Today we're installing a Mad Jacks light kit designed for a club car precedent. Included in the kit is the headlight and bumper, two tail lights, a main wire and harness including the switch, and a fuse wire assembly and zip ties. To do this, we're going to use a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter socket, an inch and a quarter hole saw, a T30 and a T15 torque bit, and a marking pin. We're also going to use two cordless drills, a number two Phillips tip, and a 7 16 drill bit, a tape measure, and safety equipment. Now let's get started. Our first step, we're going to drill the hole out for our push-pull switch. Our next step, we're going to install our push-pull switch. We're going to make sure our car is in tow and our key switch is in the off position. First thing we're going to do is remove this front dash. We have three factory screws. Once we have our dash removed, we're going to take our knob off of our push-pull switch, as well as the first nut. Insert that through the hole we drilled from the first step. Reattach our nut. Put our knob back on. Once we have our push-pull switch installed, we can attach our main harness. Main harness consists of a nine pin connector as well as four other wires that go to our ultimate light kit upgrade, two yellow wires which run to our push-pull switch, our 12 pin connector which mounts to our factory harness, and a six pin connector which we run to our front headlight. So the first thing we're going to do is attach our 12 pin connector, attach our push-pull switch, once we have our other wires safely behind the dash, we can run our six pin connector through our channel for our front headlight. Now that we've reattached our dash, we're going to remove our front bumper. There's two bolts located behind the bumper. We're going to use our 10 millimeter and our 13 millimeter socket and re retain those bolts. Move our front bumper, we're not going to need that anymore. The two bolts that we removed, one here, one here. We're going to use these to attach our front headlight. We're going to attach our headlight and bumper here and here using that factory hardware, just like this. Also, using the six pin connector that we ran through our front dash, we're going to attach our headlight here. And these extra two wires are for the ultimate light kit upgrade horn. Once both bolts are in place, we can tighten. Now we can attach our six pin connectors and we can secure our harness with the zip ties provided. Next, we're going to install our tail lights. We're going to install our tail lights. What we've done is we've made a hole two and a quarter inches from the flat side of our curve here, centered, as well as an inch and a half from the top of our bumper, centered, drilled a hole. What we're going to do now, take a wire snake. Find your factory wire harness on this particular cart, feed that wire through. Once you get your factory three prong wire pulled through, attach it to your tail light. Now we're going to remove our tape. Feed our three prong back through. Press down your tape. You can also notice that on the bottom side of your tail light, it should hug the bumper like this. Now, using the screws provided, we're going to attach our tail light. Now we can repeat this process on the passenger side. Now that we have our tail lights installed, 
we're going to hook up our fuse wire assembly. First thing we're going to do is remove the seat bottom. And using our 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the electronic component cover. Now we're going to take our fuse wire assembly and going from the blue wire on the number four battery, plug our fuse wire assembly in. And there's also a 12 gauge blue wire on the passenger side of the component box that we're going to plug in as well. Once all our wires are secured, we can reinstall our electric component cover and our seat bottom and we're complete with our Majax Club Car Precedent Light Kit installation.